you guys couldn't hear me speak because there was so much traffic outside. Anyways, I shut the window. But don't worry, this video is not about that. To start, let me take you to the countryside. Imagine yourself over here, a light breeze, birds chirping as you indulge the beauty of nature. And there you are, riding your bike, away from all the honking. Well, doesn't that make you think? Can't we do this in the city? Hello, let's talk about newspapers. To me and to you, they are just sheets of information. But to this man here, they are a path to self-sufficiency out of poverty. And guess what he used to embark upon this path? The cycle. Mr. Nurul Islam, a 65-year-old news vendor, credits cycling for saving him. After graduating from his school at a time when the availability of jobs was scarce, a lot of his batchmates involved themselves in degree activities. However, Nurul did not jump into the bandwagon. Instead, he took his cycle and started working as a newspaper vendor. Even if the situation seemed difficult, he remained patient and continued to persevere. With his newspapers in front of him and his trusty cycle with him, he continued to sell newspapers and eventually established his newspaper selling business. He was able to provide for his family and educate his children successfully. With tears in his eyes, he told us that without his cycle, he would have had to discontinue his education and he would not have the chance to earn for his family using righteous means. To him, his cycle was a way of supporting his family. It was a way of surviving in this world. Hmm, you seem hungry. Well, don't worry, Fruit Panda's got you covered. These gentlemen will get it to you no matter what the delicacy is, right to your doorsteps. Food Panda offers food from hundreds of restaurants around Taka. You simply place an order and on their apps and their riders will deliver it to you. Now this is an amazing opportunity for many cyclists to make use of as they can sign up as one of the riders and make a living out of cycling. So find anything different about this picture? If you're living in Bangladesh, this is a very rare sight. There is very little representation of women in cycling out here. It is scarce, yes, but does that mean it's non-existent though? Certainly not. Because there is one such person who continues to represent women in cycling. And she is Shyuti. Now Shyuti is a triathlete and so as a part of her job alongside running and swimming, she cycles. Well, first of all, that in itself makes her feel empowered. However, there is more to it. As she rides her cycle on the roads and streets, as she takes up public space, she feels like she represents all of the women who are not able to pursue their dreams because of the cultural restraints that plague our nation. Not only that, but as a member of the group BD Cyclists, she also works along with cycling enthusiasts to improve the cycling situation in Bangladesh. As both men and women actively cycle as a community and work together to make it better, in BD cyclists, a sense of much needed equality is developed. Therefore, it is very clear that to Shuti and to all of us, cycling is a route to empowerment, representation and equality, all of which are much needed to build a greater society. As you can see, cycling is more than just a sustainable means of travel. It provides a path out of poverty. It provides a life of righteousness. It provides independence and freedom. It empowers us by providing a platform for us to connect and establish a community with equality. 